Hey folks, it's Mad Rabbit back in Medieval Minecraft Creations episode 96, continuing with our Mage Academy. Um, as you see there, that's our previous build, so watch the previous episode. Okay, this, um, this, this took quite a while, guys. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. It was about four, three, four hours worth of work here. That you're going to see greatly condensed down to, what, this is like eight minutes, nine minutes, or whatever this ends up being. But um, yeah, quite a bit of work here. This is the classroom building. Um, I did kind of, I kind of mentioned some of the buildings I was going to do. Um, classroom building here, just, you know, basically what it, what it says it is. It's going to be classes and whatnot. I think, um, well, the next building will probably have, like, it'll have, like, a lot of experimentation rooms. I guess we'll call it sort of the lab or something. We'll have the alchemy lab, um, probably the enchanting room maybe portals in this one. I was going to have a separate building for portals, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the portals in this one, but who knows, um, because I want a separate building for the library, but um, yeah, so I guess that's what's going to happen next. I don't know yet. Um, so you see here, it doesn't look like much at first. There's like a sort of a half tower here on top, but you'll see here that it actually comes out pretty good in the end. Um, obviously this white is not normal, this white um, marble brick. As I showed some of you guys in some of my previous videos about my custom texture pack, I changed some of the stuff. And what this white really is, is just I took the lapis lazuli block, basically just uh, neutered the colors and made it white. So it's the same texture as the lapis lazuli blocks, the uh, full blocks. So. That's it's sort of familiar, sort of keeping with the Minecraft um, theme still. I end up getting rid of these pillars here that are in these classrooms. Cause these are the actual classrooms themselves. But um, yeah, I end up getting rid of them. And I also wanted to keep some, throw some different design elements in there. Um, I'm not quite sure. Some areas the obsidian just doesn't work for me. I may go back and trim it some other color. Who knows yet. But um, let's see here, I tried double wide stair, it doesn't work out quite well. Because you have to kind of bend backwards the other direction. Because you hit the wall. So, it, it's, it's, it, it's usable. Um, but sadly, when I did make this classroom, it was another huge design flaw in the, in the fact that I, we really can't, we don't have a stairway that actually goes up to that tower above this room. So that is a problem. And I have to fix it in a kind of a unique way, and I'm not quite sure I like the way I fixed it, but you'll see that in a little bit. It has to do with sort of the front of the building, getting up to the top through the front, and it's a whole thing there. Um, basically, like a walkway going over there. I, I pulled it off. It, it came out pretty good. You'll see that in a few minutes, a little balcony there. And I messed up on the tower, too, a little bit. The shape of it was supposed to be circular but I ended up um, making it kind of oval shaped and I didn't notice that I had kept an oval shape and sadly it just um, yeah I just I just decided to keep it because I was too lazy <laughs> really to change it so you know it, I end up getting it to work right I mean it looks decent for the design so and you'll see that in a few minutes too look at these little spires like in the front and this sort of these the spires also is going to be the way by which um, you get up to the top. I make some more spires inside. You'll see in a little bit. I also use uh, a lot of lava in here. You'll see lava in a little bit when I start doing the floors. I sort of want I've been wanting to do obviously from the previous build. You guys remember I tried to do lava in there. And it didn't work out too well, but this one should work out okay. No wood is very close to it, so we won't have any problems like we would, did before. And as you see here, I lined everything with obsidian just in case I do something underground or something in, uh, in this fortress area, just so I see it. Um, so you see here, making the, this part was really very difficult, tapering it in and then eventually um, you'll see I do a glass globe over it. And the glass globe, while it didn't per turn out perfect, it's you really can't see the flaws that are in it anyway. Um, you'll see that in a few minutes. I covered the inside with white, which sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. And I light it up in there because it is a little dark. 
you see here, I still, I, I, like I said before, I said this before, I said it a thousand times, still debating whether to change my texture for the, for the, the, the glass back. But I think if you had those, the Minecraft default glass look to it, you'd, it wouldn't look too good here. So I don't know yet. And it's trying to make these pillars work. If I have them taper inwards. But uh, it didn't quite work out, so I sort of stopped part way. And this is where I build the, the spires. Yeah, you see here, I kind of build a walkway kind of over the top of it. And I kind of do what we did with that other, that build from a couple episodes ago where I did that tower on the lake thing. And I go back in here, and this actually makes it look better when you put the, the little stairs right there. Because it doesn't look like it's so cramped up against the thing. As you see here, do the walkway at the same level I did the one for the other building, and the same design, same stone and whatnot, so everything will look nice. Gave it a pretty heavy, heavy, heavy duty support there. Pretty much the same on the along the lines as the other one. Now this is where it gets a little complicated, working on the top part. And it's oval shaped, so I, this is the point where I was getting like frustrated. I was debating whether I should just wreck it and rebuild it, and I said, nah. I'll make it work. And I'll make it work, man. I'll make it work. So I got it to work. You'll see in a minute. This here, I tried a little different. Uh, I had never tried this before. Kind of shaping it. So there's openings there. Big, huge, circular openings. And I want to have a spire in the middle. It's some kind of weird uh, design. So you see here, I have this big, weird design going up into the pretty high up there. That could always be reworked. I'm not entirely sure I like the design, but it's sort of keeping with the other, the one for the other tower. And uh, we're nearing the end of our footage here. So I just want to thank you guys for uh, watching my videos. And um, again, keep watching. I'm going to continue this, this particular build over the next few days, weeks, or whatever, <laughs> however long it takes. I may have to take a short break for after this because uh, this one was pretty draining. It took, like like I said, a long time. Very long time. But that's that's it right there. Pretty much finished. I go back in and I have to do some things with the classroom. We'll see in a minute. But it's pretty much done. I had to make the roadway out front there. And when the, this project is done, I'll do a short tour of everything, like not sped up. So you will, get, you guys will be able to see this better, and maybe in this, obviously in the season two of, whenever I actually start doing that, of the uh, the tour series. Um, yes, go go watch the tour series if you if you want to watch the rest of this world, different builds and stuff. Um, I kind of do a, a tour by on foot, so I'll leave that in the annotations here. And thank you guys for watching. I will catch you soon, hopefully. As a matter of it, signing off. Adios.